I had some people on YouTube asking to look at the magnetic neutralization unit uh, to see what it's made of um, to get a, a better picture of that. So it's right here, as you can see. Uh, that's an iron core, straight iron, surrounded by a uh, coil of magnet wire. Uh, as you can see, the iron core is not magnetic. Um, however, when you take this permanent magnet right here and you snap it to the top, suddenly the opposite side starts to repel. And then you can make it run a magnet motor. So for those of you who are wondering what it takes to make a V-gate spin, not much. All you're really doing is overcoming that initial resistance at the gate. So as you can see, as I hold the, the magnet close to the V-gate, it slows down and it hits that gate right there. and it bounces off the gate. Because if that gate is the greatest amount of resistance, so if I were to lift and the magnet away from the gate and then come back down after, then it wants to go back around. So we'll try that. And then suddenly I can get it to spin. So all it takes is lifting away, physically away from the gate, and then coming back down and pushing into the V that causes the V gate to spin. So that's it, pretty straightforward. So all we're doing electrically with the magnetic neutralization unit is running an electrical current through the coil which in essence is switching off the magnetic field that is induced into the iron core. And that basically and that only happens at the gate. Right at the gate and only at the gate is the magnetic field in the core switched off. So it can spin freely past what would normally be high resistance area for a permanent magnet trying to pass through the gate. So now there's no resistance for the magnet to go through the gate because the magnetic field is shielded or neutralized. And then the magnetic field in the core is turned on again by taking out the electrical current and then its magnetic field then naturally pushes through the rest of the V and causes the drum to spin. So that's all that's happening here. Hopefully that was understandable. If you have any more questions just leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to try and answer them the best I can. Alright, peace out.